concerning new health trend, more and more kids are getting fatty liver disease. Researchers say millions of U.S. kids are impacted, making it roughly as common as asthma. Here to talk about it, physician and doctor Chris Purnell, region at large for the American College of Preventive Medicine. Liver disease, fatty liver disease, what causes this? Good morning, Marnie. So what's causing so much concern is that children are getting diseases that we formerly only saw in adults. So um, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease is an example of that, as is diabetes, high cholesterol, and high blood pressure. We're not certain what's causing the uptick or the rise in the liver disease cases seen in children, but we do believe it's most likely pointing to the fact that our diet has changed. We eat Eat a diet full of ultra processed foods. We live a more sedentary lifestyle and sugar probably is a likely culprit. What are some signs or symptoms that parents should be looking for in order to go in and get screened for something like this? When signs and symptoms are demonstrated in a person who is affected, that person may complain of stomach pain, um, that person may have nausea, or they may even have just generalized fatigue that you can't otherwise explain. And sometimes uh, liver enzymes are elevated on routine blood tests when children and or adults go in for their checkup. Is it treatable? Is it reversible? Well, there is no standard approved treatment other than having people focus on a healthier diet, meaning a diet lower in saturated fats, higher in the unsaturated and polyunsaturated fats, cutting back on sugars, cutting back on processed foods and junk foods. That can slow or reverse um, liver disease, but otherwise there isn't a treatment. All right. Healthy diet, lots of exercise applies to so many things, right? Treat a body good. Yeah. Um, tea, drinking dark tea every day could help balance our blood sugars. It could even help reduce the risk of type 2 diabetes, according to a new study that looked at hundreds of people living in China. I recently switched from coffee to tea. It wasn't an easy switch, but um, I'm getting used to it. Why is black tea and other tea so beneficial health-wise? So what we know about tea is that tea likely reduces inflammation in the body and it likely reduces oxidation as well as it improves how insulin functions in the body. So insulin is the hormone that allows our, our cells to get sugar into the cells to process it and use it as energy. And what this study showed, it is preliminary. I want people to understand this is not direct causation. It is just interesting data for us to reflect upon is that persons who drank dark tea, which is a fermented tea, had a lower incidence of prediabetes and a lower incidence of type 2 diabetes. So that is encouraging news, and we think it's happening through those mechanisms that I just described. Health experts also are revealing some foods that we should ste steer clear of when we go to the grocery. According to the Huffington Post, raw sprouts is on the list, Past unpasteurized milk because of the risk of E. coli and salmonella, pre-cut produce because they can be especially susceptible to bacteria, and hot food bars because they can be a danger zone for bacteria. So what's your message on um, watching out what we eat when we head to the store? Just some common sense uh, recommendations around food safety. Unpasteurized or raw milk, most of us in health and wellness will tell you, you really should stay, stay away from because that pasteurization process raises the temperature of the milk and it kills the bacteria. Otherwise, if you are a person, especially at the spectrum of a weaker immune system, you're elderly, you're pregnant or a child, you can have a very adverse outcome and become infected. Otherwise, when you're going to a hot food bar, you want your hot foods to be hot and you want your fruits to be cold. So you want to make sure there's appropriate temperature regulation. If the fruit doesn't look good, don't eat it. If the hot food doesn't look good, doesn't smell good, don't eat it. And practice hygiene. Wash your hands. Make sure that sanitary regulations are being followed whenever you're going out to eat food in public. Keeping us healthy, Dr. Chris yes. Purnell. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.